where are you people at? We're here at Jeff's. Supposed to have a big old shindig. I got the grill ready. Some of the goodies ready. We ain't got no people. We got Greg the Great. We got me. Got Jeff floating around somewhere here. But we ain't got no people. We got a lot of food too. Oh well, we're going to start chowing. What's up? Welcome to the channel. Uh, I'm just taking a walk around. We're going to go back part of the property I have not been into since spring. Just give it a look over, see what kind of work I need to do. And uh, I do know I've got a bunch of trees that need to come down. And the garden is still... And it may get a little windy guys we got some kind of a storm coming in i think we had a little bit of rain yesterday wasn't very long or much but uh we had some tomatoes going here i don't think they're gonna get very big yeah you know, give them give them a few more days and for the most part the garden's finished and i'm gonna come back up in here i haven't been up in here since early spring Got my boots on because this is a perfect time of year to, for copperheads and rail snakes. They're out mating, doing what they do. And this is one of the trails I put in back here. They actually go all the way around. But it's very, very dry. We've currently got a burn band going. But this winter, I want to try to knock down all this tall. Chinese privet. I want to get a better view. Now this, I'll show you here. Let's go back here. This is all the stuff I've been waiting to burn. Obviously can't do that right now. So once we get some rain, <laughs> I got a lot of burning to do. And uh, yeah, these bricks aren't going to do the job for that. Yeah. I have not weed eated this trail all summer. I haven't even been back in here. Y'all seen some of my earlier video. And it didn't even grow that much, man. Yeah. Something's been walking through here. Weeds are about knee high. And guys, I haven't done anything the last few days because when I was at Jeff's house Sunday, I was loading up the truck with things and I fell in a hole. Stepped in a hole and fell and I hit the ground hard and I hurt my knee. Not real bad, but it's been so sore I, and my whole body's been sore, so I haven't done anything the last three days. But I'm starting to feel better. There's some game trails down in there. And this is uh this is where the second piece of property I own starts. I actually have two parcels of land and it goes oh see that golden oak tree back there goes back past that a little bit and uh i'll just come through here show you all some of the colors since i haven't put a video up and actually this is man there's stuff walking through here i don't know probably i mean there's a lot of deer and stuff but it's being used All the leaves are changing. Wow, this stuff just grew up. At one point, I had all this cut down. It's just hard to keep up with it. Anyway, really good trail through there. You don't see that? You got to make checks. Every now and then, you don't know what's moving in or who. There'll be some drug addicts living up in here. We ain't been down in here all summer. Let's go up over here and see if we can't get a good view of the leaves turning. Yeah, this has been well walked. I mean, I'm still finding a lot of debris like that from that storm we had. Took all the trees down. Yeah, these are all 
going up. That tree died this summer. It was actually in the fire uh, seven years ago. You can see where it burnt. All this burn up. And that hung on till this year and it didn't never did come back this year. And so that's coming down. There's more junk in the storm. Woo! We have the camera there. <laughs> Fire ants been going up on that. That's still solid. And there's more junk away from the storm. And that tree died about two, three years ago. Old pine tree. And uh, all the ponds around here have dried up. So she's been bringing in water with a big tank every day. Got them cattle up there by the barn, feeding them hay. And as you can see, the leaves are changing. I don't know how good they're going to show up. Be yeah, the old dogs have been using this crib. Another look. It's just been one dry year. So we have a 40% chance of rain today. Don't know. And I want to go refresh my memory. These things will put a hurting on you if you can see them thorns. Let's walk up in here. I had this all cut down real nice. There's my rocks. Ruby, hush. It's just me. She thinks I'm talking to somebody. More rocks. Everybody says we got rocks in Arkansas. We ain't kidding. Livy, that's enough. It's just me. So those are two, two of the trees. That one's actually still living. The other one not didn't. I won't have to get out here and get on that soon. You knock it off. Sorry about Livy. There's no controlling Livy. I shouldn't be walking through this stuff. But I am. At least it's my land and I know where all the holes are. You knock it off. Here's the trail. I hope this don't bore you guys. I don't have anything else to get going right now. Yep, there we go. Power of the stone. My trail actually went through here with the rocks. <laughs> you can see part of the trail is still on there. But I'm going to cut it. I'm going to cut it about right there. And this whole thing should fall back. That's the plan anyway. But I've got quite a bit of work to do in there. Oh, all this has grown up. Who are you making all this noise? Huh? Well, nobody wants to see you. There's my troublemaker right there. And there's that cedar that blew over. I've got that mostly cut up, and I just need to get rid of these smaller limbs in this part here. Oh, a lot of work ahead, but at least the temperatures are cool now. All right. You walking with us? You get yourself stuck. No, you didn't. Well, there's Waddles. Of course, we gotta always stop and see Mr. Waddles. How you doing, boy? Got him some new feed today. They're doing all right. Yeah. Well, there's the build. See my chairs I got up there now? 
got to get some more painting done. There's still a few things to finish there. Drive some lag bolts in them 2x12s. And then paint there. A lot of stuff to do, guys. Let's see the wall, though. Who would you do? Do you want to say hi to everybody? Hello, my name is Waldo, and I'm very handsome. Are you handsome? Where's Ralph? Help! Help! You don't know. You're not a keeper? Help! Help! Yep, the old Waldo. Alright, guys, just a. A little tour. I had to go see what I was, what was going on back there, if anything, and figured I'd take you with me. So we'll just put this on. And my knees feeling much better, but I <laughs> let me tell you what happened Monday. Monday I had an appointment uh, through the VA to go to a hearing test, and it was quite a ways away in Bentonville, Arkansas, which is way up north, and. Uh, I had all the directions written down on paper. I don't do the phone GPS thing or whatever. I had it all written down in detail. And so I know how to get to Bentonville and Fayetteville and all that. So I get up there, I just close to Bentonville and I reach over to look at that paper. I didn't have the paper. It had everything on it. The name of the place, the address, the directions, I got off it. The wrong exit drove around 40 minutes missed the appointment so i got home yesterday i called and they rescheduled it so it could be another month now but <laughs> man i'm forgetful they need to be sending me to the brain doctor so I'm figure out why i'm forgetting everything so yeah that was two and a half hours up there two and a half hours back for nothing Whew. I did get out, got a good test drive on the truck. But that was a lesson learned there. So next next appointment, everything's going inside the truck. And uh, yeah, so I don't know when the next appointment is yet. And yesterday we had a little bit of rain and that thing's just draining. When you're down in the screen patio now, it's not, you don't hear that heavy rain hitting. It's just slow drips hitting the roof, kind of nice. So I'm going to paint this 2x12, uh, this tan color, and then continue that post black. Now I'm going to have to cut these at some point when I start building the rail. That's when I'll figure out wh where to cut them. You know, they got a little twisted in the heat. As they, that heat caused all this lumber to dry out faster than it should have. And then so a lot of it got checks and twisted. And Starlink's working out real good there. That's pretty much where it's going to be, but I'm, I also have a pole to put it on. And believe me, that right there ain't going nowhere. It's screwed down on the four legs. It's screwed down on the board, and it's it's in there strong. So looking forward to getting all this finished up, the little details, and then uh, well tomorrow I want to get in here in this dog apartment and get some electricity and plumbing going, and the rest of this trim which is getting all warped uh, I just need a place to store lumber that's out of the weather and I don't have it that shed is just full all right man I'm gonna quit jacking get this thing on there so you, you can't say I ain't put a video out all right guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel I uh, appreciate if you subscribe give me a like give me an unlike I don't care and I want to thank everybody again for going through my Amazon Influencer program. That link's down in the description of every video. You just simply click on that if you're going to buy anything on Amazon. And uh, I get a commission and it doesn't cost you anything else. It takes you right to Amazon only through my link. And I appreciate the ones that have done that. I'm doing pretty well on it. And that's, you know, enough to pay the electric bill or car insurance or whatever. So that helps me. So if y'all will continue to do that, I appreciate it. And uh, I think that's about it, man. What else? Don't know. But I just hit 7,000 subscribers. Thank you, all my subscribers, for helping me get there. All right, guys. Happy trails.